Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. So this is going to be a really, really short video just because I didn't really record a ton of this workout. But this particular superset is probably one of my absolute favorite things to do at the gym. Like any day that I can sort of make an excuse to do this sort of push-pull thing, I will. And uh, I definitely do it a lot on my, on my push days, on my chest days. I will pretty much always try to fit some sort of pull exercise in between every set. It makes me feel a lot like more into my workout, definitely get a really good pump. And this is the kind of thing that, you know, you guys might want to try out for yourself just for fun. Uh, this isn't the kind of thing, I don't, I don't feel like my back workouts suffer by doing pull-ups in between my, uh, my chest workouts. And similarly, I don't feel like my chest recovers in a, in a bad way, or I don't feel like my shoulders don't recover properly when I do a little bit of shoulder pressing or like machine bench pressing in between my pulling exercises. So it just helps me feel like I'm getting a full workout. And, you know, there's, there's blood moving uh, in, in both the muscles that are involved in pushing, muscles that are involved in pulling, and it just feels good. I get a really good pump out of it, and it helps me keep my mind in my workout. I always like to stay active during my workouts, you know. Some people like to do their set, you know, just sit, sit there, take a breather. I prefer to get up and go do some pull-ups or something like that in between my bench press reps like that. And plus, you know, I feel like it, I get a lot out of it. I don't, I don't feel like I'm fatiguing myself too much for my sets. I don't feel like I'm hurting my recovery for the next day's workout or anything like that. And uh, this is pretty much my, you know, one of my favorite things to do. So I wanted to share it with you guys. One fun thing about this workout is I was just going in, you know, thinking I was just going to get some work done, you know, a, a little bit of, a little bit of light work, you know, no big deal. But I, I actually ended up feeling pretty strong. And I think it's, you know, definitely having Jenny getting pumped up. You can see her spot me there. Definitely having Jenny get pumped up kind of pumps me up too. So, you know, you want to do well for for her, if she's, she's excited, you, then you want to, you know, you want to sh not show off, but you definitely want to make her proud, so. Put up some, couple, couple solid reps of a 245 there. So far, so good in terms of my diet. I definitely am, have found a really, really good groove. If you guys don't know, I, I've been running in the morning, I've been having um, most, you know, about 1,600 calories before the gym, and then I come home and I eat about another uh, 1K to maybe 1.1. Maybe and uh, that's, that's keeping me feeling strong, keeping me feeling good in the gym. Still can, uh, still can move pretty good weight. This wasn't my strongest day ever, but you know, still was putting up 275 for three, which is not bad for me. And then I even went and uh, I was feeling pretty good, so we went ahead and just did one solid rep at 295. Blasted up there, was feeling really good. So just wanted to share this super set with you guys, along with you know a little bit of a little bit of fun stuff. Keeping my strength during my diet's always good. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.